<laughs> Merry Christmas! Yeah, look, you try finding a blue Santa hat. God, it tastes like a furry just face fucked me. Christ. Ah. G'day, mates, and welcome to our little secret Santa, our Kris Kringle. Whatever the hell you want to call it, although I avoid Kris Kringle because everyone ends up typing KK into their phones and it just gets real weird after a while. So, myself, ISP, and Bo Cohen have decided to swap presents. We're giving two, you know, two sets of gifts to each other. Um, this is ISP's. It looks like a bomb. It was meant to look like a bomb, apparently. I am surprised Australian Customs did not stop this. Uh, so I've, uh, just got... Uh, this here for protection, just in case. Just gonna cradle this and stay nice and safe from whatever the hell's in there. I've actually had that for a good week or two now. Uh, Bose still hasn't arrived because, of course, Denmark not being a country, it's quite hard to actually ship things from it. You have to, you know, fake it and send it from Germany instead. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, since it's literally almost Christmas, it's Christmas in two hours and seven minutes, uh, I am going to make a video and open this. And I'll make a separate video where I open bows. I'm not going to tell you what I sent to Bow and ISP, because I think it's a good surprise, so go check out their videos and see the stupid shit I sent them. I know what ISP sent Bo, though, and wow. Uh, Neither to say what Bo is getting is going to be illegal in Australia. I could not own it. Amazing. I wish I had it, but I can't. Uh, so, instead I get whatever the hell's in here. Now, not only does this look like a bomb, but it's like weighted on one side, which makes me really concerned. Or he's just sent me his Fallout 76 helmet, that too. On another note, this is the last video you'll see filmed in this room. Ever, pretty much, probably, because I'm moving out. I've got my own place. And, uh, oh boy, that is gonna be some fun. We're gonna get a proper stream schedule, we're gonna get some cool shit shown there, gonna have a vlog and stuff done, but that's all for another video. However, although I'll definitely show these more in the actual vlog, uh, I wanted to show these awesome disc plates I got, these, like, metal paintings. These are The World of 1920 by... God, I've forgotten his name. He's a Polish painter. He, he did the whole, uh, if you know Scythe or Iron Harvest, the games, this is the paintings that those games are based off, and they look Fucking beautiful. There's that and that. Oh, they're good. But and these are these are metal like plates that have the paintings imprinted on them. But this looks even better. Halo Spartans never die. Fuck, that looks good. I was gonna get a Mass Effect one as well, but I think the Halo one looks better. And then the best one. Welcome to 2077. You can can't really see the writing here. Obviously, they've still got the plastic covering until I set them up in the new place. But fuck, that's sexy. I've got two more cyberpunk ones coming as well. And, uh, yeah, they look good. The contrast looks so good on the bloody, uh, on the, on the metal. I am fully convinced there's just gonna be smoke coming out of my moment. I'm gonna pass out, and then I'll wake up. I'm gonna look at a guy across me, and he's gonna go, Hey, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? A normal man would use a knife. I have my P.O. Box key. You can send me random shit, like Christmas gifts. Very, very belated Christmas gifts. Down below, there's a P.O. Box address. I think the best bet's to open it here so I can put whatever the hell it is in front of the camera. So, here we go. Oh, God, okay. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, we're gonna... We're gonna unpack this one by one, shall we? The first thing I saw, Trotsky's writing on Britain, <laughs> signed by ISP. Leon Trotsky on the back, there we go. Nice, nice. Part one, British history and culture. Part two, the decline of British imperialism, 1908 to 1926. Part three, the British labor movement. 1906 to 1924. I saw white Marxism as I just flicked through this book and I really want to read it now. Hold on, hold on. I found there's an index. Wait, ready, ready, hang on. Would you look at that? You go through all of the D section, which is starts here, starts here, goes up to here. Not one mention of Denmark. No, nothing at all. Well, there we go. I'm going to read that at some point. Why the fuck have I got this? Oh, there is so much more shit to go. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing the rest of the video in this. Give me a sec. Okay, you can still hear me, right? Okay, here we go. God, I feel so fucking stupid right now. <laughs> Look at this thing! 
Oh my god, this is the most retarded kangaroo I've ever seen. I do have an Australian flag cape though, which is bloody awesome. And holy fuck, this thing is boiling. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You know, I really like Trotsky's writing on Britain one, but it wasn't enough. That's why I've got Trotsky's writings on Britain volume two. Also signed by ISP. Part one, where is Britain going? Part two, the, problem of the problems of the British labor movement. Part three, lessons of the general strike. But you know, that's not enough. That's why we have volume three of uh, Leon Trotsky's writing on Britons, which includes from world slump to world war, 1929 to 1940. Trotskyism versus centrism in Britain. And part three, British imperialism and national liberal liberation struggles. That is, that is what I'm going to be reading for the next year. Oh nice, you also sent me one of these. I was always going to buy one, but never got around to it, because I hate mouse pads like this. I cannot stand these type of mouse pads, but the squidginess is pretty good. I'm going to like stick it on the wall or something, throw darts at it like I used to do. The real gift though, is this. Yeah. Let's just bring the camera down for a moment. That's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, I haven't seen this many Yu-Gi-Oh cards since I was a fucking kid. G'day mates and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh unbo- Oh fuck, it all fell out. God, these are open. What the fuck? Did you steal the good cards from this ISP? You piece of shit. Oh dude, thick titty anime girl. Nice. You bet your ass I'm just gonna rip these open. Oh, these are good. I wonder how much these cost, because these are- Hang on, are these all first edition? Yeah, they are. Is that actually worth anything? I would have no idea. I fucking- wait. Am I just destroying money here? Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I want to see what's in them. Dude, we got Supreme King of Armageddon. This is why I could never actually give a shit about Yu-Gi-Oh. All these fucking names. Oh, God. Rip and tear. Ooh! Exodius! <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Jesus Christ, this name. Obelisk, the Tormentor, God Hand Crush. Dude looks legit though. See the thing is, these could all be like super fucking awesome cards, but I played Yu-Gi-Oh when I was like, okay, I played Yu-Gi-Oh when I was like a tiny kid. We had no fucking idea what we were doing. And we just got all the cards that looked cool and we we're like, ah, uh, my attack beats your defense victory. And we tried to learn from the show, but didn't the show keep cheating and that kept like fucking shit. I just remember the show was never like actually right to learn from. Um, fucking hell. Cause like, I actually went and played a uh, fucking uh, Yu-Gi-Oh with ISP a while back for the stream. We are playing, it wasn't, ju no, we played Duel Links at, at uh, Insomnia. Um, we, we played some other thing. We played like a, a Steam game. And I'm just like, how the fuck did I ever play this as a kid? This game is so complex. Sky Dragon of Superconducting Light. Oh my God, that is the best card I have seen yet. Oh man. Oh, these cards. Number 93, Utopia Kaiser. Wait, wait, his game's actually Kaiser? What? What is this guy? <gasps> yes! Blue Eyes White Dragon! <laughs> Dwarf's Child Limit Dragon? Wait, what the fuck is that? Hang on, the Swarth Child Limit, isn't that like a fucking space thing? Like, yes, the Swarth Child Radius, sometimes historically referred to as the gravitational radius, is the radius of a sphere such as if all the mass in the object were to be compressed within that sphere, the escape velocity from the surface would equal the speed of light. Basically, it's the place where a black hole gets created. This is essentially Black Hole Dragon. Nice. I imagine he just bought these in bulk because, like, so many of them are the same, like, random grouping that they can't, like, they're just the same deck with different uh, rares, as far as I'm aware. This is my Yu-Gi-Oh deck now. Nice. Look at all of these cards. Try and face me now, jewelers. Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi, Yu-Gi-Goers. Card people. Oh my god, I, I have half an idea of what this is gonna be. Okay, yep, it looks like a print- uh, Oh my fucking god, oh my god, this is gonna be great. Yes. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, this is so shit! This is me dying in RuneScape classic. <laughs> in old school RuneScape, sorry. When, uh, when we were facing that fucking boss. This is me dying to the Kazakh command. <laughs> is it Kazakh? I think their names are. Oh, fuck me. Hold on. 
I love how shit the mug is done as well. It's not on the front or the back, it's direct face on. This is so shit. Oh, it's amazing. However, inside of it, we have the things we were giving out at Insomnia. A whole bunch of Jerry Beans Mans. Oh, that's a lot of Jerry Beans Mans. I like how many Jerry Beans Mans there are. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give these out to people. Yeah, I, I like these Jerry Beans Mans. We've got a lot of Jerry Beans Mans. This is good. So, ISP likes to call me on Snapchat occasionally, and I make sure that whenever he calls me, he gets a nice earful of something that should make him really be embarrassed on whatever Discord call or room he's in or, you know, police check he's currently trying to do on my house. Uh, but this just says, so it's presented by the commander. <laughs> Combined <laughs> Joint Task Force. <laughs> Horn of Africa. <laughs> oh boy. This is my commemorative Horn of Africa coin. I'll always remember the finest times serving in the Horn of Africa. <laughs> you know, those political issues, it's... <laughs> I've got words to say about the Horn of Africa, worry you not. Holy shit, I almost went to bed. I didn't realise I put this aside. Whatever the hell this is. I, uh... Oh no. Oh no. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Such a mess. This is going straight in my new uh, living room. That is going up on the wall and people shall forever ask, what is that poster of? What is this modern art? What is this fine beautiful? Go, that's actually old school RuneScape. That's me dying. Look, I'm wearing a pink tutu. Fuck you, ISP. That's fucking funny. Well, everyone, I hope you have a merry, merry cursed Christmas after what you just saw, because this is certainly something. This is actually amazing fun. Thank you very much, ISP. That was fucking hilarious. And uh, I hope you like my gifts just as much, although I'll be honest, they are not as extravagant. I, uh, I, I could have done a bit more. I wish I'd done a bit more, because holy fuck, this is funny. I know what Bo's is, and I can't wait to see Bo get his. Oh boy, there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff to unpack here. Uh, I'm going to go edit this video. Merry Christmas, everyone. That is... Uh... That's how I spent my Christmas Eve. Last year I spent it with family. This year I'm in a kangaroo onesie, flipping a coin that says the Horn of Africa.